Welcome back. President Abdel Fattah Sisi asserted that Egypt and France are confronting terrorism together over several aspects and pointed out that the French parliament is discussing draft law targeting radicalization that guarantees the respect of republican principles. In an interview to Le Figaro newspaper, President Sisi illustrated dangers and threats of the Brotherhood terrorist group on the European community and the natives. The reason was included among the terrorist organization list in Egypt. President Sisi added that Egypt and France exerted the utmost efforts in fighting terrorism and always warned against this extremist ideology. As CC stressed the importance of bringing together and bridging the gap to account countries who help in financing and armoring those terrorist organizations, a matter that violates all the United Nations resolutions. Meanwhile, the President reiterated that Egypt's strategy is based on establishing good relations with its neighboring countries and respecting international laws and seas laws. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi held a meeting on Wednesday with the Secretary General of the Economic Cooperation and Development Organization at his residency in Paris. During the meeting, President al-Sisi expressed gratitude for the organization's praise for Egypt's economic achievements and successes during the past years, and reiterated that Egypt's successful performance is a platform that attracts investments and fosters development in the region and worldwide. The President asserted that the economic progress achieved by the great support of the Egyptians, which directly participates in boosting the state's will to continue the economic reforming program and reaching the highest indicators. As Sisi also said that the state was keen to achieve development in various domains to provide better future living conditions for the new generation. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi expressed appreciation for joint cooperation with the French firm Naval in the fields of maritime defense and military vessels production. This came during President al-Sisi's meeting with the CEO of Naval Company at his residency in Paris on Wednesday, during which the President affirmed the importance of boosting cooperation with France in upgrading the Egyptian naval forces. For his part, the company's official hailed the technical capabilities of the Egyptian Navy in operating the advanced technological maritime units produced by the naval in a record time and high efficiency. He said that the company is looking forward to bolster and develop cooperation with Egypt and to continue joint cooperation during the coming period. Continuing his three-day official visit to France, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi met with French Prime Minister John Cossacks in Paris on Tuesday, during which they discussed means to foster bilateral ties in various domains in addition to issues of mutual concern. President al-Sisi held Egyptian-French strong friendly ties in all fields, confirming that Egypt is looking forward to boosting joint cooperation, especially at economic and trade levels. For his part, the French Prime Minister expressed his appreciation to Egypt and praised the joint historical ties. Presidential spokesman Ambassador Bassem Rodi said the talks also tackled bilateral relations and means of boosting cooperation in the military and security fields. Number of regional and international files with mutual concern were also discussed during the meeting. The president also held talks with the head of the French Senate and the Secretary General of the Development and Cooperation Organization, as well as heads of the French companies operating in Egypt. Prime Minister Mustafa Mabouri held a meeting with the Saudi State Minister and member of the Cabinet, Assam bin Said, discussing means of enhancing bilateral ties. During the meeting, Mabouri stressed the government's keenness on enhancing Egyptian Saudi investment fund and praised the outcome of the joint coordination. For his part, the Saudi minister praised the achievements of the two sides, expressing his optimism about the coming period that will witness the implementation of initial projects. The meeting also discussed the latest intense bilateral cooperation that has been achieved during the last few days to activate the Egyptian Saudi investment fund. The agreement's format has been approved to activate the fund. The cabinet spokesperson, Nader Saad, said that the executive plan's targets include supporting Egyptian and Saudi companies to achieve regional leadership and empowering the private sector. Polling stations closed their doors for voters to cause their ballots at 9 p.m. Cairo local time in the second round of the parliamentary elections runoff. Voting inside Egypt that kicked off on Monday. Runoffs were limited to candidates running under the individual system who completed the 
their competition for 101 undecided seats. Up to 42 individual seats were secured during the first round. 142 seats reserved for candidates running under the party list system were decided during the first round. The runoff of the second stage included constituencies of 13 governorates.